Hey Steven and Chris, my condo is the one place that I can combine my two greatest loves, fashion and interior design. I can't wait for you to see it, so come on in. Most of the references between fashion and interior design are pretty subtle, but here in my entryway, I've taken it very literally. I gathered some shopping bags from some of my favorite fashion houses and used inexpensive frames with white bristol board as matting to create the perfect shopaholic shrine. When I first moved out of my parents' house, I couldn't bear to leave my piano behind, but in 650 square feet, there's nowhere to put it. Here, it's great because not only does it double as a console, but it's also an instrument to annoy my pesky neighbors. Here's a piece that I know Christopher will love, my bar. It used to be my grandmother's, and when I got it, it was in pretty rough condition. So I cleaned it up and added some crystal accessories and statement pieces of jewelry that used to be my mom's. Then, when the girls are over, I just wheel it into the kitchen. I love cooking and having friends over, and because space is such a commodity, I thought having a kitchen island would be a great idea. I chose this one not only for its versatility, but also for its vintage feel. I like to accessorize a space the way I would an outfit. Here you see a lot of mixed metals, like in the dinnerware, the bar stools, and the accessories in the kitchen. This is a nod not only to fashion accessories like jewelry, but it also brings in that feminine touch that I love. As you can see, I brought the same feeling from my kitchen into my family room. I've incorporated a lot of different textures like burlap, felt, and faux fur in order to create a really warm and cozy atmosphere, but still keeping it very feminine. The thing I love most about my apartment is this memory wall. Instead of putting up photographs of my family and friends, I decided to do a mix of things that mean something special to me. I have an invite to a party, a birthday card, and a map of France. And I also have these two clocks on the wall. My dad travels a lot, so I have one clock on his time and one clock on mine. It's special to me because I know that it's close to the heart. One thing that I like to do to add texture and warmth to the space is to layer rugs on top of each other. Here I have an inexpensive woven rug with a cowhide flea market find. On my coffee table, I've layered various items, and of course I have my fashion books that I never tire of reading. A girl's bedroom is one place where you can have a lot of fun in design by keeping it flirty and flouncy. I wanted my bed to look very luxurious, so I added a whole bunch of pillows in different textures, and of course, a hint of glitter. I fell in love with this wallpaper, but being a single girl in the city, means that I have to be creative with how I spend my money. So, I use it on one feature wall, and then I use the leftover as matting for the other artwork in the room. The artwork is actually just pages ripped out of a book that I got on a clearance rack. Something so simple, but goes a long way. I found this vintage chair at a flea market for only $50, so I reupholstered it in this bright blue fabric, and it adds a pop of color to the space. Thank you so much Steven and Chris for coming and visiting my space. Vloggers take a lot of inspiration from each other, so I hope my space today inspired you.